Today we're going to talk about the Narikotomi Boy skull. This was found in 1984 at Narikotomi in Kenya by Kamoya Kimu. Kamoya Kimu had worked with the Likis um, at Omo and other sites in Africa. At, um, at Narikotomi, um, the site was on the western shore of Lake Turkana in Kenya, not far from the border with Ethiopia and southern Sudan. The skull for Narikotomi Boy was found together with an almost complete skeleton. It's the, one of the most complete skeletons um, of ancient hominins that have been found. The skeleton um, comprised 108 bones in total and it was estimated, it was estimated that it was from a boy aged between 7 and 11 years old. The height of the individual uh, was estimated also to be about five foot three inches in height. So the Narikotomi boy, uh, he was pro a child, probably male, the pelvis was quite narrow but it, um, the remains were of a prepubescent child so it's hard to tell. They think he probably was uh, a, a boy and the species was assigned as Homo ergaster originally and but there's controversy now um, whether Homo ergaster is just another form or an African form of Homo erectus. The size of the skull, um, cap uh, cap uh, the capacity of the skull was 880 cubic centimeters. Now this is larger than some of the Homo erectus remains that have been found in Dimenissi in Georgia. The skull also had a large projecting jaw and a sloping forehead and small cranium relative to uh, modern humans. The skull also had large, large brow ridges. The teeth were relatively large, um, but again not as large as the Dimenissi um, Homo erectus teeth that were discovered. Um, when Narigatomi boy was first found, he was called Turkana boy, uh, the skull itself may date to about 1.6 million years ago. The mandible of the skull uh, showed signs of disease and the skeleton, uh, there was signs of a lumbar disc herniation probably caused by an injury which may have led to the death of Narikotomi boy. Homo agaster existed from about 1.9 million years ago to about 1.4 million years ago. Uh, there remains been found in uh, Tanzania, Ethiopia, Kenya and South Africa, so all in uh, Africa. Now there's controversy over this but it could be that Homo ergaster is just an African form of Homo erectus. Um, when compared to other examples of Homo erectus found in Asia and um, up in uh, Dimenissi in Georgia, uh, near Russia. Um, the Homo gaster has thinner skull bones and a superorbital foramen, a sort of small uh, hole for a nerve um, above the uh, eye sockets. But otherwise, the Homo gaster is very similar to Homo erectus. Um, in Africa, there is a fossil gap between about 1.4 million years ago um, to around 600,000 years ago. About 600,000 years ago, uh, the Bodo skull um, has been dated to that, and that is from Homo heidelbergensis. So there's um, a, a possibility that Homo agaster may have led to Homo heidelbergensis in Africa. But um, now the contro controversy is whether Homo agaster is just a, an African form of Homo erectus. Uh, some Facial reconstructions have been carried out on um, the skulls and remains of Homo ergaster. On the right here, there's a, a reconstruction of the Narikotomi boy, uh, which shows he has a very low forehead and large jaw and uh, quite, quite a large um, nose on him as well. Uh, in general, Homo ergaster had larger jaws and smaller craniums compared to modern humans, but they're very similar to Homo erectus. The Homo erectus georgicus uh, discovered in Dimenissi in Georgia had smaller brain capacities. Uh, their brain capacities were 
around uh, 550 to, five, uh, to 600 cubic centimetres and here uh, the remains of uh, Narek Tomi boy, his skull capacity was 880 uh, cubic centimetres, so larger than the Demonici Homo erectus georgicus uh, skulls. But uh, in terms of dates, the Narek Tomi boy was about 200,000 years after the um, remains that were found in Demonici in Georgia. So it could well be that um, Homo ergaster are just an African form of Homo erectus and uh, the question is whether these led to Homo heidelbergensis which then could have led on to the um, Denisovans, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens.